Cooking for wildlife usually involves getting to know the locals, even if they are water buffalo. There are many places outside the national parks in Costa Rica that have great habitat and amazing biodiversity. Yes, we are about to enter the Damas, Cuevas Las Damas, the Lady, really close to the river, the Lady Las Damas. And let's see, this is adventure, pure adventure. So many poop all over. It's all covered with poop. Finally, the second largest bat in Costa Rica, the greater spear-nosed bat. Here is a muy macho male in his harem that he closely guards. Polygamy is alive and well in bats, and this species maintains a harem of 15 to 20 females. The harem is very stable over the years and the male mates with all the females of the harem. Other males are not welcome and form bachelor groups. Females each forage in separate areas, whereas the male of the harem forages far away from the female's foraging area. With the thermal image, one can see the added heat of being in a harem. The greater spear-nosed bat ranges from Guatemala south to Brazil and Argentina, where it inhabits both forested and open areas. In Costa Rica, it is found in the lowlands of both coasts, up to about a thousand meters. This bat is not picky about roosting, and can be found in caves, buildings like thatched huts, under leaves, and in tree hollows. This monster bat has a forearm between 88 and 93 millimeters, with a wingspan of 455 millimeters, and despite its size, it weighs only 81 grams. This omnivore feeds mostly on fruit, pollen, and insects, as confirmed by the remains below a feeding roost. Croach parts, seeds, maybe spondia, maybe figs. What would this be? That would be a millipede. The balsa flower offers both plentiful nectar and mucho pollen. That's faster than McDonald's. They are also known to eat lizards, birds, and even rodents. So this mouse better duck or get the hell out of Dodge. Single pups are born between mid-April and mid-May. But here, the mother is on nanny duty too. Greater spear-nosed bats have an extremely sensitive sense of smell which, of course, is great for finding ripe fruit, but also females in heat. They just can't go indoors to avoid the bugs. 